Hello everybody, it's me, Sun God Ra, and welcome back to another episode of Call of Duty News. So, last time I talked about Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 4. So, there's one thing I forgot to mention, and if you guys haven't seen that video, go ahead and just check it out. It's right there on my channel. It's the last video I uploaded before this one. Just go ahead and just look at that real quick if you'd like. So, now today we're going to be looking at... Um, some black ops for zombies and stuff like that right so on january 15th there is supposedly this new gauntlet mode that's coming out as for the 1115 or the 115 right the celebration of zombies you know element 115 so apparently quote treyarch is kicking off 115 day celebration event next week with double xp and addition of gauntlets in call of duty black ops for zombies starting on january 15th you can use uh, or you can earn zombies, double XP, doubles, uh, double weapon XP, and double nebula plasma on all platforms. If you play on PS4, you'll find the addition of three new epic elixirs. Elixirs balancing out the updates of the BU of gauntlets. Gauntlets are 30 round challenges with unique rules for each round, according to Treyarch. One of these unsinkable in Voyage of Despair, and players will receive bronze, silver, and gold medals and tier base base rewards upon completing rounds 10, 20, and 30. So it's kind of like the the uh, the tier system in the black market, except this time you're gonna be for specifically zombies. So for those people who were thinking that zombies aren't really that useful, maybe getting to uh, round 15 wasn't as fun as usual because you know you get a, your daily tier skip, but you can just play a, a good 10 minutes of multiplayer and get one win, and it gets all that solved for you. So um, back with this, a, a, new, a unique reward will also be awarded for completing round 30 without failing a round. Good luck with that. And quote, bonus nebula plasma rewards will be doled out when you're hitting each new milestone for the first time. So apparently you'll get some new nebula plasma every time you hit a new milestone, which is super cool, which means you can get us some newer elixirs every now and then. So that's awesome. And um, here we go on to the next thing. It says rules can vary widely around to round, ranging from weapon restrictions and time limitations to area defense challenges and dangy, dangy excuse me, very dangerous enemy modifiers and anything in between. If you and your crew fail to complete a round as instructed, you'll earn a strike. If you receive three strikes, it's game over and you'll have to start from round one again. While getting to round 10 will prove challenging for casual players, completing all 30 rounds will test even the most seasoned zombie veterans. Only the best of the best will emerge victorious with no downs or strikes. So basically, Every round is going to get like, you know, increasingly harder as we go on. That's kind of expected as a normal zombie game. But now, there are even more rules, like certain guns you can't use. Sometimes you can't use on, like, for example, 9, you can't use the scorpion gun. I don't remember what that's called, but you can't use that. Some, you can't use the, uh, the wonder weapons of that map. You can't do any of that. Some of them, I'm guessing you can't even use certain perks. You can't use this perk on this round. You can't get this many points this round. You can't... Uh, use this elixir this round. You can't do most of all of anything. You can't open a door this round. Something like that. Something crazy like that. I would assume is probably going to be in that challenge and stuff, right? So apparently you get some new stuff every time you complete a round. And uh, you get ba like tier challenges and stuff like that. So you get uh, it's kind of like the black market where the more you do, the more you unlock. And over time you just start you know getting a lot of stuff and you... You keep going and you, you keep getting more stuff and everything, and apparently you get gold medals and stuff uh, for completing challenge rounds like level 10, uh, level 20, and level 30. So that's pretty cool. I don't know what the medals are for, if they really show off anything at all, uh, aside from you completing the rounds. Uh, let's see here, let's continue down, and apparently the first map is going to be unsinkable, which is going to be for only Voyage of Despair. And um, it is the first of many gauntlets to come in 2019, said Treyarch each with own set of challenges. The same day Zombies 115 celebration kicks off, new information on features and new content coming to Zombies will be provided. Sent informa uh, information will include a preview of what's worth for the 1.12 update scheduled for late January. Okay, so if you guys don't know when Zombies 115 celebration starts, it will start January 15th at 10 a.m., Central Time, 1 p.m. Eastern Time, and 6 p.m. in UK. And it will end on January 18th, so we have three whole days of Zombies 115 to complete all these challenges, get all these gauntlets done and everything. 
we hope that I hope you guys have as much fun as I do. I know I'm gonna be working super hard on these gauntlets. And uh, first thing uh, that I want to show you right now is that um, I talked about how you get medals for completing challenges, and here they are right now on screen. So you get this medal when you get uh, up to round ten. Then you get this medal when you get up to round twenty, and then you get this medal, the gold one, the best one at round 30 and we have a new a unique secret item that we get at round 30 as well without getting any downs without making any strikes so can you get that stuff i am gonna try super hard i'm probably not going to do it i'm mostly just a zombies casual player but i'm gonna try super hard maybe i'll team up with some friends to get some gauntlet stuff done but um so basically that's all we know for right now uh we we, we do know that um that we're going to get double XP and all that stuff. Um, so if there's going to be new elixirs, I want to know what they are. Um, if they, if I do show you, uh, or if I, if I do know what the elixirs are, they will be on screen right now as I'm talking about them. But um, I'll leave the descriptions up on screen if I find them. So thank you guys so much for watching. I am really excited for these new gauntlet modes came out. Um, just like comment down below if you're excited tell me what you know give me some tips pointers and everything like that for zombies if you'd like leave a like if you want to um see all these kind of different kinds of videos in the future with my channel and if you want to see even more videos like this just hit subscribe and i'll be recording these kind of videos as soon as i can so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one